This is Eric at Two Rock coming at you live from NAMM 2016. Uh, we're very excited about our offerings for 2016 here in the Two Rock booth, uh, Premier Builders Guild. Um, we've pared down our lineup here. Uh, we've made our options much simpler for our dealers and our customers. Um, what we have right here starting off is the Crystal 100 head. It's 100 watts, four 6L6s. Uh, this is a, a famous circuit. Uh, a lot of people may know it. started out as a, a signature model for a, a certain uh, gentleman. Some of you may uh, know. Um, I'm not even sure I should say his name right now. What do you think? Anyway, quite possibly one of our most well-known artists. But anyway, this is his circuit. Um, yeah, JM, yeah, yeah. So that's his circuit, uh, rehoused, you know, in a, in a new model. Uh, since they only made 25 of the original signature, uh, people were really kind of clamoring for that sound, and so we decided to make it available. Uh, up next is their Studio Pro 35. It's been a staple of the T-Rock line for about five years now. Um, Studio Pro takes the venerated classic reverb circuit, pairs it down to its most essential features in its core tone, puts it in a uh, easily transportable package. Very clean sound, very configurable, gain master volume, uh, very responsive tone stack here with push-pull functions on each one. Uh, send and return controls for the reverb, contour control. Uh, passive effects loop on the back with a uh, return buffer control. 1 by 12, yeah. Uh, and these come standard with our uh, WGS 2 Rock 1265B speaker. Uh, this one I'm particularly excited about because this is our uh, new offering for 2016. This is the 2 Rock Cardiff. The Cardiff is a uh, 15 watt amplifier, two EL84s. 212AX7s, as some of you might have guessed by that description, that it takes very heavily from the uh, the British AC15 type circuit. However, uh, we've applied some of Two Rock's uh, design principles to this, um, namely extending the bandwidth and and making it a very touch sensitive, uh, very dynamic platform. It's very chimey at its cleanest. As you crank the volume up, it just gets more and more warm and then breaks over into a really really nice overdrive that's incredibly touch sensitive and and just kind of does whatever you want it to do it's it's really at your command you can crank the volume up roll the game uh the volume back on your guitar and kind of get back into that clean sound and then roll the volume back up on the guitar and suddenly there's your uh, incredible blooming overdrive again it also has a uh, passive effects loop on the back for simple time-based effects. And it's going to retail for about $15.95 street price, which will come in at probably the most affordable 2-Rock we've ever offered to date, while still being manufactured in the same facility by the same people uh, using complete uh, hand-wired point-to-point construction. Now over here, just beyond this gentleman here is our uh, sensor. Um, the sensor is a fairly familiar model for most Two Rock fans. It's been out for a few years now. The sensor is kind of an updated version of the Gain Master. Uh, a little bit more of an aggressive modern voicing. Um, two channels, clean and overdrive or lead as it is in this case. Um, it's got a, a very flexible and capable effects loop on the back with uh, both send and return uh, controls. It's switchable parallel and series. Uh, the one thing I will say that this model is uh, missing is reverb. Um, however, most folks uh, have gotten some great results with some fantastic reverb pedals that are out there on the market now. The pedal uh, industry being what it is now, uh, technology has evolved to include some uh, fantastic pedals. And skipping past the head version of the Studio Pro 35 and the second Cardiff that we have here, um, I'm going to jump right over here to the Coral. In this case, it's the Coral 50 head. Uh, the Coral represents 
probably the final step in the evolution of the design that started as the K&M Special and or the K&M Custom. I'm sorry, and. It became the Emerald in its various iterations, and then the Emerald became the Custom Reverb Signature, which traveled through three versions, version 1, version 2, and version 3. And about two years ago, we retired the, uh, the Custom Reverb Sig, and we began developing the Coral. Uh, the Coral uh, represents probably the most evolved version of that circuit, in that the clean is cleaner, the overdrive is much more refined and controllable. Um, we have two separate um, send and return reverb controls for both channels. The lead is on the back. Uh, it has a cathode bias slash fixed bias switch on the back, so you can flip it down into cathode bias mode, and it gives you a little less, little less volume, but more importantly, less headroom, so you can hit that sweet spot sooner on the, uh, the volume dial. Uh, symbol presence control here. Most folks are familiar with that. Uh, bright switch, mid switch, bass deep switch. These are all staples on a lot of uh, Two Rocks models. An EQ shift switch, which when you flip that up, um, it shifts the entire tonal response of the uh, the front end of the amp. And we find that's helpful for uh, people who play uh, highly resonant instruments like arch tops. And actually, uh, one of the guys at our shop's a magnificent violin player, and uh, he likes to plug into this and flip the switch up and uh, get into that EQ shift mode and, and play his violin through it. So sounds great that way. And then here you have the bypass EQ and the channel switch. Um, bypass EQ is also foot switchable and it basically it defeats the tone stack and basically gives you more of everything in the circuit you know, so at that point you've got full guitar everything passing through the circuit um, and then the overdrive switch the operatable from both here and there foot switchable it's cascaded gain so whenever you kick over into the overdrive channel both of these are still active on the clean channel they share an EQ but they're both balanced, both of the channels are balanced in a way that you can EQ it and they share uh, the EQ quite nicely. So that is pretty much our lineup. We have some other models that are here that, uh, well they aren't here, um, that they will be included in the lineup such as the sensor head. Um, we have a 40 watt combo version of the crystal that's going to still be offered. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's us coming in uh, lean and mean for 2016 with a little bit of new product, kind of simplifying our overall line. I uh, want to thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, yeah, that's it. Come by the booth and see us.